Welcome to another Tony Hobbs uh, special video. This one is going to be specifically about the GoPro Hero 9 media pack. As always, I am filming with my dog from my tent in the middle of Dartmoor. Please leave a comment below, like, subscribe, share, hit the notification button, and just very briefly, assuming Amazon haven't uh, disqualified me for a lack of use, uh, just check out the Amazon affiliate links uh, below. Anything you purchase uh, from those, or anything at all you purchase via a link, then I'd get a tiny uh, kickback on that, so thank you for that help. I did the usual two things, looked on YouTube, at various videos um, for the media pack plus the Ulanzi pack or the Ulanzi um, system for hooking up uh, a microphone to it. As you know, I have the Rode Go microphone system. So I specifically wanted some system for you know getting a microphone <laughs> which i can't show you because i'm using on this camera here so hopefully the this microphone here is still picking up sound it should do so i wanted to get the um the microphone attached onto the camera but you know how now the media pack itself consists of this trapdoor type contraption here and it really is very easy to use now my old gopro and i might do a separate video on how i move from this gopro to this gopro and how i might involve the camera that i'm shooting on now which is the alpha sony Alpha 6400. So I may do a separate video on cameras and how I'm using and why I'm using. Now, of course, the the old GoPro is a little bit smaller. Weight-wise, I believe the new GoPro without the uh, attachment you know to hold it is about the same weight as the old GoPro Hero 5 which I think this one is with the housing I can't quite remember offhand but I have a feeling that the weight of this one with the housing is the same weight as this one without the housing because you don't need the housing necessarily because you have these foldable things down here. The only downside with either of these two systems, you haven't got any way of attaching a microphone. Hence the media pack. Now, to fit the media pack, you undo the side thing just a bit fiddly press down and then the, the door here the battery door opens and then you have a battery in here and then your SD card goes in there as well and the door is very very easy to remove to fit the media pack okay so it comes off very easily like that you just uh, gently you know pull it off <laughs> you then just put the trap door safely to one side you don't need that anymore now i did hear um some reports until we're filming in the middle of uh, nowhere I did hear, hear reports that it's a bit fiddly to get this on 
Um, and I will say that with the little grub screw thing that they supply, it's, I, I wouldn't use that little grub screw. I'm sure we've all got one of these. So I would suggest that you ditch this little screw thing here and instead use one of these. And it fits in, as the actress said to the bishop, or if you like Rolex watches, support the channel as well. Um, we have uh, some Rolex watch content on here as well. This is the uh, Rolex GMT Master II, this. And we also do uh, camping videos. So if you like camping content, then also please subscribe. It fits in very easily. You literally just slide that carefully in there. Just slide it in, as the, as the actress said to the bishop. And once you've put it in, you just close this trap door here. And then that's now locked into position. Now, you know, you have made your GoPro bigger, but you have made it uh, easier for vlogging. These little things here, they still, make sure you've got some nails, they still pop out there with the media pack. You can easily attach a stick, a selfie stick to it. And the bottom of the media pack has this ridge in it here, this gap here, that's obviously, thankfully, they thought about this, that's so that can fit in there, like that. And then if you want to use the built-in microphone, this is the built-in microphone here, then they supply a wind cover as well, and then obviously that can just go over the top of it. I'm not going to put it on. It's a bit of a pain to get on and off. Well, it's easy to get on and off, but I'm not going to be using it. So, but that just attaches onto there. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken the road go off the camera. This piece, of course, you attach to yourself. And this piece you attach to the camera. So how you attach it, or how I do it, you could put it onto the top hot shoe point here, but I actually prefer to put it on the side. And it's very easy to do. You just, there's a little clip here, and then it just slides into the hot shoe like that and then obviously that's your power button there and then you turn the gopro over now the only downside of putting it on the side is you can't get to these things here so you might actually prefer to put it on the top which i might very well actually um do so you could put it up there but if you put it on the side it's easy enough just to the bottom one you can reach easily and then the attachment goes in there, like that. And you now have a fully functional GoPro Hero 9 in the media pack with the Rode Go microphone system. And obviously you can then hold it in front of you wherever you want to, to hold it like that with the microphone here attached to yourself there some people some people like to hide these away but i'm not that bothered about it at the moment it is what it is so i'm a vlogger i'm in the middle of nowhere um like I said, some people like to hide them away. I'm not that, uh, <laughs> not that fussy. And then you can just hold your camera out in front of you. And of course you could record with this system, however far away 
you want to record. I've got this little GoPro little selfie stick, but it also opens out as a little tripod. If you want to charge your GoPro on the go, it's easy enough to do. All you have to do is, you don't actually have to necessarily take that out, but it's just more convenient um, for this. That's what I say, maybe putting this on the top would be better access to these doors here. Okay, so here I've put the GoPro, the Rode Go, on the top of the camera here. And you can just undo the catch at the back, just run the wire around the front. And into back like that, that's actually probably a better way of doing it, to be honest. And then if you want to charge it up, you just take one end of these USB things. Just move the wire around out the way open up the second trap door which is now easier to do and put the charging cable in like that you may have to turn your power on or your power pack on I've got a power pack as I'm out here in the middle of nowhere and you can see the red light comes on there and there uh, tends to stay focused on my uh, face which is a bit annoying and that's the the GoPro media mod and that actually does a, a very useful job for filming and for charging you don't have to take it off to charge which is you know useful I did hear a few complaints about it when I was doing some research on it that it was difficult to get to the battery well it, it's not really because all you need to do is okay it's a tiny bit fiddly if you obviously if you had this grubby screw in and it would be even more fiddly but all you need to do is just undo this thing here You do have to take this off. That's, that's the only thing. You do have to take this off. So just undo that screw. Put those little feet back underneath. You don't have to take off the road go. The road go can stay on there. Then you just drop the hatch on there. Oh, actually, that's probably why I put it on the side <laughs> yeah GoPro yeah so you do have to take it off because you can't lift the hatch with the with the thing there so you do have to take it off <laughs> there you go okay that's why if you have it on there you don't have to take it off but then it's a bit difficult to get to these doors it swings at roundabouts I guess and then obviously the, the camera then the GoPro just comes out you get to your battery or indeed the, uh, the the card slot change it around I bought this one from uh, GoPro directly so with them you get a spare battery but because it is so easy to charge it you know you could charge it you know when you stop for a cup of tea break or something like that or when you're in camp you can uh, chuck a bit of power back into it and then obviously when you finish charge, uh, changing the battery or the slot or the um, memory card, you just, you know, put it back in again. Close the door. And then obviously your road mic goes back on the top easily enough. Really it's up to you where you want to put it. 
Um, it's a bit fiddly on the top because then you can't open the door, but how often are you going to open the door, you know, whereas it might be more convenient to be able to open these more easily and charge it. I think time will tell on that one as to which. Right, I've, I've, I've figured out and remembered now why I put the um, Rode microphone on the side um, rather than on the top. And that on the top, if you remember yesterday when we were uh, making the video, I said if you need to change the battery by opening here, this this part won't lift off. So you have to take the bat the uh, the top off. So you have to take the the microphone receiver or sending device <laughs> um, off. Also, the record button, as you can see, is right there. And it's just a bit fiddly to have to press record when it's attached to the top. And also, you have to have the wire behind, which is just a little bit annoying you can't really put it in front because there's a danger that it will come around by the lens so i do think that it is better on the side and now everything is nice and easy to press when this camera bothers to focus on the correct thing not um lassie <laughs> something like that and then it just keeps the wire Ooh just kind of keeps the wire you know a little bit neater and nothing is really you know pressed in place nothing's covered up we're not using this microphone here so that doesn't matter and it just keeps it a little bit neater and now of course you can take the, the media the media mod off if you do need to charge it you can still easily just get a thumbnail behind that just about it's a bit it is a bit fiddly <laughs> says he a lot fiddly there and now you can charge it up by putting your charging cable in there and you don't have to take anything off at all i do hope that's uh in focus so that is why I was putting it on the side here. Now I can press the record button easily. I can press the on and off power button easily. I can obviously turn on and off the microphone easily. So everything is now easy. You know, I can get to the microphone port easily here. I don't ever need to use this one up here. I'm not sure what that is, HDMI, I think. I think that's a good view around the media pack without uh, you know, boring you anymore, bored you enough most likely. Again, like I say, if you like this uh, style of video, uh, the content I create, always from a tent, nearly always from a tent. These days I don't do it at home. <laughs> don't do that at home. Um, then don't forget to please like the video. That helps the channel. Subscribe. That helps the channel too. Leave a comment below. I'm always happy to uh, read comments. Sometimes they can give uh, ideas of what to film another time. Sometimes you might just have a question or something like that. I try to answer um, every comment where possible. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next uh, video.